Hey, what's going on everyone? Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a Power BI tile to Power Apps. If you enjoy Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI videos, feel free to subscribe because we put out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. I want to import these two graphs into my Power App so I can show users some data and graph form. It's really easy to make graphs in Power BI. I totally recommend doing it. Let's go ahead and work on getting these graphs to Power Apps. So I already created the graphs, they're all set to go. So I'm gonna click on File at the top left, Publish, Publish to Power BI. It's gonna ask me to save it because I didn't save this data yet. I'm just gonna save it as Power BI. All right, so now it's going to ask me to publish my data to my uh, workspace. I'm just gonna publish it to my workspace. You should have a workspace if you have a Microsoft license because they give you a free account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on select. So now it's publishing that report to my Power BI. So let's switch over to Power BI on the web. All right, so now we're in Power BI. Uh, this is based the free, free account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into my workspace at the bottom left-hand corner. So I have two report, I have a report and a data set here. So I wanna go into the report because I'm not working with the data set, I'm working with the report. So you see we have our two graphs right here, uh, pretty simple. So on each of these graphs, if I hover over them or click on them, it brings up a like tool tip down here. So you wanna go ahead and pin this visual and we're gonna create a new dashboard. So we're just gonna do Power BI reports. And pinning this to a dashboard will allow us to get those tiles and put them in Power Apps. This is the only way to do it that I know of. So if you have any different ways of doing this, let me know because uh, this way there's not really too much customization you can do in Power Apps. Once it goes in Power Apps in here, you can do a lot in the report, but once it goes to the dashboard, you can't really do too much. So we're just gonna go ahead and pin the other visual to the existing dashboard. You put them all in one dashboard. So I'm just gonna do the same. So now let's go to the dashboard. So if I click on my workspace again, we now have a dashboard called Power BI Reports. I'm going to click on it. And we have our two graphs right here. So let's go ahead and head into Power Apps now. Uh, I'll be working on my marketing app. All right, we're in my Power App right now. Let's go ahead and create a new screen to display these graphs. All right, we have our new screen, screen four. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click on insert. You wanna search for Power BI to Power BI tile. And we'll put this up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling in this data. So we have the connect your tile to data. Uh, I'll be looking for, I'll be looking in my workspace and It'll show all your available dashboards. If, they, if they're if they not showing, try to reload the app again. Uh, sometimes if you make changes to the dashboards while you're still in the Power App, it doesn't load it. So you wanna load, uh, exit out of the app, and then reopen it. So we're just gonna go ahead to Power BI reports and tiles. So I have my two tiles right here, sum of salary and total. We'll do the sum of salary first, and then it'll load your tile. So as you can see, it shows our tile. And like I said, there's not too much, too many customization options you can actually do here. You can only change like the size. Um, let's the tile, the tile URL is where it is in your dashboard. So uh, don't touch that Power BI interactions. You can turn this on or off. So if I click on here, uh, it will take you to the report. If I turn that off, I don't think it will take you to that report. Let's just test it out. So now it's false. Yeah, you can't click and it won't take you externally. Uh, reset, load Power BI content. There's not really too much we can do with the colors or everything. It just pulls whatever the dashboard shows to here, pretty much. Let's go ahead and get the pie graph. So insert. Power BI. Then we will just put the pie graph here in my workspace Power BI and total. 
now you can see we have our two reports from Power BI in our Power App now. And this is the only way that I know how to do it. If you have another way you know how to do it with that allows me more customization with the with the charts and Power Apps, please let me know because that'll be very helpful. But yeah, and here you can change the dashboard theme and everything. So if you want to have users go to the external report, you can actually share the link with them and they will be able to see these customized graphs because you can customize them a lot in Power BI. Once you bring them to Power Apps, there's not too many customization options. And if you also do have these graphs in Power Apps, you need to grant access to your dashboard to the users in your Power App. So in my case, it would be share. And then to upgrade, I can't do this feature actually, to use Power BI features, upgrade to a pro license. So I need a pro license to be able to share these graphs. So unfortunately, in my case, I don't actually, I wouldn't be able to share these graphs in Power Apps, but in your case, reach out to your, um, your Microsoft admin and say, hey, I, I'm making a Power App and I need permission. I need a Power BI Pro license to be able to share it with other users. So you go ahead and share it with other users It bring a pop-up screen right here. You just enter in the users and once the users are um, entered in, they'll have access to view your, your Power BI graphs and Power Apps. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will catch you in the next video.